Hello, good day to you. Got a ukulele dot com. Got another instrument for you. Uh, it's a brand first time on the website. I've been trying for ages to get hold of one. Um, we've not sorted this through direct contact with them. I bought this one to review. Uh, the brand is called Ortega, uh, who you may have heard of. Uh, they're a brand based in Germany uh, who have a range of not just ukuleles, but a range of other instruments as well. Guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos made to be good value i think they're all far eastern um uh as this one is made in china but designed in germany um and it gets even more dizzying I and mean, as well as having all those other instruments they also have a dizzying range of ukuleles in lots of different series sort of the lava series the tribal so you know that kind of thing and this one is the rfu 11z part of their friends series in laminate zebra wood now i don't mind a minute when i opened the box and i looked at this one my heart sank a bit because i don't like zebra wood laminate ukuleles i think they're overdone just do a search for ukuleles on amazon you'll see how many there are by brands like caramel and k mys all the cheap ones really and i think it's kind of gaudy for the sake of it and it's kind of a common signature of those pile them high sell them cheap ukulele brands which i may be doing a disservice to ortega on I just don't like the look of it. Um, I think it's become ubiquitous. Let's have a look, though, um, and be as impartial as I can. So it's laminate uh, zebra wood. It doesn't seem to be over thick. Two pieces on the top, two pieces on the side, two pieces on the very slightly curved back. And it's naturally very striking. That's the point of it. Um, gaudy, I would call it. Uh, it's finished in a satin, an open pour satin, which I like. It makes it feel like it's a wooden instrument. I don't like it when you've got these sort of plasticky finishes. But other than that, to be fair to them, unlike things like caramel, which I still have nightmares about, there's no pour finishing on this at all. There's no bare patches. Uh, it's been done really well, actually. I can't find anything wrong with it. Um, no other decoration, but why would you want decoration with something as striking as zebra wood? Um, I think when you add abalone bindings and things to zebra wood, you're just really turning the volume up to 11. Um, it doesn't need it, so I give it a nod for that. Although, curiously, what they have done is this sort of painted edge to the sound hole rosette. Now, that's a technique that was used in the past by people to hide that it's laminate. Uh, but I can tell this is laminate anyway because I can see the edge on the top. Plus, to be fair to Ortega, their website makes it absolutely clear that this is a plywood ukulele. That's the word they use, plywood, not even laminate. So they're clearly not hiding it. I just don't know why they've done that, and I don't like it. There we are. It's no biggie. The bridge Ortega say is their Ortega-designed bridge, which kind of makes you think that it's something special. It's not. It's, a, it's just a walnut um, tie bar bridge with a straight top plastic saddle made out of walnut with a bit of curving on the base they say it makes for easy string changes i don't think these are the easiest string changes so i'm not entirely sure what they're saying they also say it's good for precise tuning but again i don't know what that's about it's a regular tie bar bridge there we are looking inside interestingly you see that the laminate has zebra wood on the inside as well so that's two faces of, of veneer of, of zebra wood with the laminate sandwich in the middle uh, the bracing is pretty basic the kerfing is notched but to be fair really tidy no mess um, no glue no shavings just just all right really like it uh, moving on the neck is made of mahogany it's very pale mahogany I don't like pale mahogany but there we are joint at the heel joint at the headstock typically Chinese in profile rounded back which is what I expected considering where it's made their website claims this has got a 36 mil nut. It doesn't, at least one, this one doesn't. This is just under 35, which is a bit narrow for me, but not the narrowest, with about 28 between the G and A string. Uh, I wish they'd made it 36 like their website says it is. That ain't 36. Uh, it's topped with walnut fingerboard, 18 nickel silver frets, 14 to the body joint, very standard for a concert. And the edges are black bound, stroke stained, which you think would be good, but unfortunately, sharp fret edges that needs work that shouldn't have come out like that that's a that's a problem um position markers dots at 5 7 10 double at the 12th and one at the 14th 14th and side dots in white on the black <coughs> you know those sharp fret ends can be fixed uh buy from a reputable dealer they'll sort that out shouldn't leave the factory like that though uh 
bone nut the setup incidentally a bit too high at the saddle for me but the nut seems okay-ish um up to an interesting shaped headstock i like that um with the ortega logo but as you can see it's kind of scratched off and that's before it was scratched off inside the bag when i took it out of the box for the first time uh a clip when i look at it more closely it's really lightly applied it's a silver screen print uh a clip on tune is just going to scrape that off in no time again not a biggie it's not the end of the world it doesn't change the way the thing plays uh or quila strings and these sealed gear tuners generic not much to say about them but at least the buttons are small and you do get a brilliant gig bag and i say brilliant because it's one of those with really strong zips as you can see thick zips that aren't going to break and a decent strong padded handle i like that a lot and that's coming in about about 100 pounds 95 98 in the uk about 145 dollars really good price really really good price yeah it's a laminate instrument but it's not bad at all um so despite my initial misgivings and i don't like the look um it's well made uh it's got some setup issues you know the, the saddle needs to come down a bit those fret ends need to be dressed uh, and that logo up at the top is going to come off but it's well made where it counts it's nice and light and it's nice and balanced and then i played it and it, it that surprised me too it's got great volume not the greatest sustain and it's clearly a laminate tone but i rather like it it's 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 a very bright This is your first instrument or your first step up from having owned a Mahalo. Nothing wrong with that. That's that's a nice clear. The, the notes are clear in the mix. There's a bit of bit of harmony going on. The range isn't bad. You know, it's it 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 surprised me. Um, really chiming. I should know by now shouldn't I looks on everything I shouldn't judge a book by its cover other such phrases notable phrases no I don't like the looks yes there's some setup issues with it but it's a killer price and if you're out looking for a first ukulele a first more serious ukulele 100 quid this sounds really good it needs some setup work but that's not really the end of the world so it gets a pretty decent score from got a ukulele um I'm pleasantly surprised by this one and I love that gig bag um the ortega rfu 11z concert in zebrawood from their friends series um Not, not perfect but really not bad actually and it's nice to sort of come across one of these cheaper ones that doesn't just make me rant uh ortega nice work this um yeah it's all right back next week some really interesting stuff coming now uh, i know i said it every week but i really have see you very soon Bye bye <laughs>